So we just go through it. It's not that important. Mm -hmm. So we know what you mean by removable. So media means uh, the device in which you store data. Mm -hmm. That's what we mean by media here. Okay. okay. So we saw about what is media, medium difference. So removable media means the thing uh, that you can just plug in, you can copy and you can take it off. So you don't permanently keep it as part of the computer. Yeah. So you can take it away, you can, uh, that, that's removable media. So we know that, uh, pretty sure we know uh, CDs, DVDs, Blu-ray discs, okay, uh, and other kinds of discs are all removable medias. Okay. Now starting from way back, we had, before we did not have CDs, right? Before we had only this removable media, tape. Mm -hmm. Or, what do we say? You know, uh, we saw our last class, right? Mm -hmm. Magnetic tape. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what we had. It's like uh, the film. Okay. That was the only thing that we had. Then we uh, came to, you know, you see these are the floppy disks, previous removable medias. <laughs> Tape cartridges. Okay. Even now we use these tape cartridges. Uh, and sometimes, you know, if you don't want to, you know, uh, take the data, you just want to save the data, and you want to store it for reference. You know, will never, maybe you will, you will never take it and uh, you will refer it. In those cases, it's better you put it in tape drives. The problem with tape drives is that it's slow. You know, because it's like a spindle, right? Mm -hmm. So if you want to get the data, it has to rewind all mm -hmm. the spindle. Okay, mm -hmm. so it is stored in sequence. That's the problem. Read write will be slow. But if you just want to back up your data, you can use tape drives. So even now we use tape drives. Okay. Floppy disks. We saw about these things. Uh, ROM cartridge. These are ROM cartridges. Just like printer cartridges. Optical disc, that is CD. Uh, in CD also there is read, read, write. You know it, right? So these are an old technologies. I'm not going through it. Magneto optical discs uh, can be optically read using laser. Users can also write as well as erase data on this number of times. So that's basically read write. Okay, read write disks. Now we don't have these things. Okay, this lesson is a little bit. No, I told you it's obsolete. It's mm -hmm. gone. All these technologies are gone. Mm -hmm. Okay, zip drives, just like we saw. Uh, we still have this thing, memory cards. Some some we still have, some we don't have. USB drives we have. Mm -hmm. High mind. What is high mind? High mind. What's that? All computers are connected. This is fancy names, okay? It uh, basically indicates a cloud storage. Okay? Cloud means online, but it doesn't have to be online. It means if you store something on your file server or something, then it becomes high mind. So basically, your file server. It can be online, offline, yeah, so on the LAN, or on the WAN. Right, you see they are giving some statistics, uh, floppy is read-write, floppy disk, slow, short, cellulose, and you have zip disk, read-write, so put a CD is readable, CD writable, RW, DVD readable, writable, they are giving the sizes 4.7 GB, flash drive, 128 GB the max, now we have more than that. Tape drives, USB drives. So, which one is, uh, which one do you think is the best? With respect to cost, with respect to usability. Cost. DVD. USB. It's fast. Fast. Yeah. And ambitious. Relatively expensive, but it's a little bit expensive. But now it's coming cheaper, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thinking about optical drives, uh, you have CD, DVD, rewritable, and then you have Blu-ray. These are the optical drives. Uh, 
Obviously, you have to operate this because I operate. Yes. We're talking about drives now, that means the operating mechanism, you see. Mm -hmm. So, previously we saw media, that is the device mm -hmm. itself, now this is about drive, that is this thing, mm -hmm. which makes it work. So, what's the difference between a DVD and a Blu-ray disc? You know, you, you have something called Blu-ray, right? Yeah. Blu-ray yes. disc. Um, yeah. What is Blu-ray disc? That's capacity. Twice capacity. Capacity wise plus. Mm -hmm. uh, so how much max, how much you can store on a Blu-ray disc? It's not given here. Yeah, but. A Blu-ray disc. You, you play PlayStation, Xbox, something like that? Yes, yeah, so your PlayStation uh, games are in Blu-ray, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know the capacity of that? Mm, that's DVD. Mm -hmm. DVD? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so PS4? Yeah. yeah, it can play DVD. Mm -hmm. uh, Xbox or Normal DVD can play there. Blue, blue mm -hmm. for movies. Original one, or they give original. Yeah, DVD. Mm -hmm. You can't copy it, right? Mm -hmm. Ask them. If, if you break it, what will happen? Uh, so, mean, if you break the DVD? Uh, no idea, actually. Mm -hmm. You can't copy it, right? No, it can't. That's a fact. I think it probably would be Blu-ray. Go and check out. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's always written on the CD. It's um, DVD. Yeah. I'm sure. Did you try putting it on the uh, desktop or laptop? Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. okay. So I think you can store up to 40 GB on a Blu-ray disc. Okay, 40 GB. And uh, normally, uh, a Blu-ray disc you can read it using the normal DVD reader writer. Okay, but you can't write it. You can't write anything to a Blu-ray disc. You you won't have the laptops that you buy doesn't come with a Blu-ray writer. But you can read it using the normal drive. Okay. We're giving all this history of floppy disks, floppy drives. This is actually floppy drive, floppy, yeah, floppy drives. Examples of USB drives. You know when did USB drives came? Mm -hmm. So now the dates, this is the same exam. Dates, no ring dates. No, no, no. It is asking. Somewhere in 1995, way back 19. Mm -hmm. Early 2000, you can say. Mid 90s, late 90s. This is the year 2000. Mm -hmm. That's where it's happening. Yeah. 2000. Mm -hmm. It's actually after 2000, you can say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Commercial product came commercially. Mm -hmm. Way after 2000. I was going to say 2000. No, no, no. See, in USB also there are different versions, okay? You see, USB 2.0, second generation, third generation is 3.0. I think now we have 3.2 okay. So these are the components, now you will not know that Standard USB plugs, mass storage controller, flash memory chips, crystal oxalator Okay, these are actually the components of the USB, electronics Just names given to uh, different chips. If you open the USB, you just see a kind of motherboard and then you see little, little chips in there. Mm -hmm. okay, you will see a main chip, that's where you store, that's the mass storage. And then you have other chips to control the speed and all the data rate. Mm -hmm. LEDs, jumpers, okay. right protect switch, 
for enabling disabling writing to data in the same way. external hard disk kasi may SSD na na ganyan eh ano yung SSD yung BD yung maliit yung yung pansin at yung flash parang pala tsura niya sa loob parang chip din di ba sa amin chip okay yung SSD ano yung SSD naman naman buksan natin it's actually the same thing that we studied in the last class same the same features it's like portable yeah the speed RPM rotation revolutions per minute how much speed, what kind of connectors, a CSI or fiber channel. So she just, uh, this lesson is not that important. physical connections uh, now this is about connectors now you have these devices uh, whatever be the device whether it is monitor keyboard usb drive so you have to connect it somewhere right so we call these thing connectors or ports okay? we also say ports or interfaces okay all are same connectors ports interfaces the port acts as an interface between computer and peripheral device okay so you plug a monitor's cable and the monitor's port or monitor's interface right? that's, that's the link between the CPU and the uh, device isn't it? So basically you will find two kinds of connectors female and male okay? female and male connectors I will show you so it will have uh, pins okay? male connectors will have pins female connectors will not have pins they will have dots there are different types of connectors. You have PS2, FireWire, Telephone Type, okay, DB, DB25. Okay, so you just have to know the names now. Okay, you'll just come to it. First, we'll start with networks. Network connectors. PS2, the PS2 connector is not available now, right? No, no, it's old. It's all USB based now. Now we use USB. Okay, now when we come to Ethernet, now Ethernet means LAN, okay? Um, Ethernet means LAN, local area network. Uh, so in local area network, what kind of connectors we use? So you'll see these standards like 10 base T, 100 base T. So this is basically measure of uh, speed. 10 means 10 megabits per second. 100, 100 megabits per second. Okay? 100 megabits per second. And now we have 1000, so we call gigabit Ethernet. Okay, we plus 1000 uh, bits, uh, sorry, 1000 uh, megabits is 1 gigabit. So 1000 megabits per second, that's called gigabit Ethernet. Okay, so this is your um, interface for Ethernet. So this connector type is called RJ45 connector. Okay, RJ45. Now if you have seen your telephone uh, line, mm -hmm. telephone connector, LAN, LAN phone mm -hmm. connector, you will also see a similar one but it will be a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it? Yes. Yeah. So that's yeah. called RJ11 standard. Now all these standards, they come from this company or this organization, I I IEEE. Okay, this is the organization that sets all the standards, all these numbers. Okay, by the way, RJ stands for registered jack. It's a jack, okay? See, they are giving, there are different standards here. So, I typically set standards for a lot of things. See, this interface is linked Sony, Firewire, 
high definition audio video network alliance that is the standard what port is this the firewall yeah this is firewall okay firewall just like usb but it uh, it has more capacity than usb you can send data high definition okay that is firewall you can send bulk data better than usb so these are the different channels this is usb port point zero this is firewall port this is another port uh, what is this port this is also kind of firewall but it's different for uh, cam borders okay so those all come under i triple e a 3094 interface okay now maybe they have an advanced version but those are the standards and then you have parallel interface now this is a parallel port female right? this is female port so basically how you can have a parallel port or serial port so this is parallel this is serial the difference uh, is mainly in the number of pins okay both are female ports right you don't have pins here so difference can be in the uh, physical arrangement plus the data transfer how the data will be transferred as yes, i told you before parallel means data can be transferred uh, multi line as a multi line channel okay now here it will be single line channel So this is more efficient than this. So what is multi-line channel? Means you can send the data simultaneously in in parallel port. That's why parallel. Parallel means what? Simultaneously. Okay. All these ports can be functioning at the same time. Now here only one can be functioning at at one point of time. Okay. And then you have PS2. Normally we used in. Uh, keyboard, old keyboards and old mouse. Mm -hmm. We have seen this thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. PS2 keyboard, PS2 mouse. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then USB interface came in 1990s. Now we use USB for a lot of things. VGA. This is VGA. So this is a mail connector. VGA main connector. So VGA is used for what? VGA stands for Video Graphics Array. Okay, mainly for monitors or display devices. So this is the connector, this is the port. Okay. And then DVR. Uh, there is no diagram for it. Anyway, this is a DVI port. DVI connector is a cable that you see in the back. Uh, of your PCs, white cable. Mm -hmm. DVI or DVI. In DVI, there are two kinds: single link and dual link. Mm -hmm. Okay. For transition, transition minimizes differential signaling. So dual link for supporting display devices require higher bandwidth. If you want higher video bandwidth, you can go for dual link. Okay. Basically, define the capacity. All right. And then you have SCSI interfaces. A small computer system interface is used to join parts of computers. It makes use of system known as SCSI. Uh, we also use these uh, kinds of ports sometimes if you want to connect some rare kind of equipments. Okay, maybe like routers, switches, something like that. So normally everything you can connect using serial or parallel, but rarely you can also use this CSI interfaces. Okay, it's another standard. There is no distinction among these things. HDMI interface. You know what is HDMI, right? For high definition. If you want to transfer videos, things like that. Yes. We can also use HDMI for monitors also. Instead of using serial port, VGA or uh, HD, uh, what? What is that? VGA and AVI. 
you can use this HDMI interface for monitors. But normally for monitors we use VGA or uh, DVI. But for TVs we use HDMI because TVs require high definition, right? It requires more pixels. Yes. Okay. Not only video, also audio. Okay. Both audio and video has to be supplied through HDMI. You have mini jack. This is uh, formerly found in MacBooks. This, this mini jack. So, so again, under uh, Mac standard. Okay. Mm. And if you look at the motherboard, uh, the things are uh, will be like this, right? So these are all built-in things. <laughs> Okay, so this is built-in PS2 connectors, ports, built-in uh, USB ports. Pong 1, Pong 2. Okay, Pong 1, Pong 2. Pwedeng USB na, may adapter na ganyan. USB and tuner. You have a parallel port where you can connect the printer. Normally printers you connect parallel port. Audio, out, audio in, microphone. You know, all these things we get as one. And you have a game port that's basically your display card. It's where you connect your monitor. Okay. Com 1 and Com 2 it's for extra purposes. Okay. It's for extra port. Means uh, if you want to connect some other extra devices, that's why we have Com 1. Communication one communication. This is for video or your monitor. Okay. They say game port. It's for the monitor. Floppy controller. This is inside the motherboard, on top of the motherboard. You plug the cables. So this is the bus cable. The old form of cable. And then I'll show you the motherboard now, okay? After this, I'll show you. So if you see, these are called PCA slot. This is basically used for plugging NIC network interface card for network connection. We saw the Ethernet port, right? If you want an extra Ethernet port, you can plug a NIC card. Or you can also plug RAID controllers. We haven't seen what is RAID, we will see that later. And then you have ISA slot that is this. That is basically for plugging extra memory. Okay, extra memory or expansion buses. Uh, what is this? CMOS battery. We spoke about this, right? Before. Yes. This is the one that preserves critical data. Even if you switch off computer for years, that data will be maintained. AGP, that's uh, your video card, advanced graphics port. It's a different standards, okay? Advanced graphics port. So every motherboard comes with a built in graphics. So that's where you can plug the monitor. But if you want more configuration, you want to play high definition games, something, then you can buy a graphic card. Okay, high high quality, high capacity graphic card. You can plug it here, and that will give you the port. Then you can shift your cable to that port. Okay, CPU slot. You see, this is not CPU. This is CPU slot. CPU will come on top of this. You put the CPU on top of this, and then you clamp it. Let's make thermal paste. What do you mean? What do you mean? Thermal paste. Para dito. Nalagay mo dito ba? Power supply plugins. Okay. Power supply plugins. Power supply plugins. Power supply plugins. Okay. Okay. 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 Power supply plugins. Now this this cable is called IDE cable, okay? IDE or you can say PATA, parallel ATA. PATA, parallel ATA. And then this is old. Now we use this other kind of cable called SATA. It's not here in the diagram. It's a little bit thin. Okay, 